Hi guys, um, I'm doing another review of the, not another review of this gun, this is my modified stockade, but you can't, it's not modified at the moment, it is modified, but I just haven't got the battery in, I've got the normal batteries it's in, the spring's messed up in it a bit, because what I've done, you take two dark, these posts out what are in here that one and that one and because this spring's bent because I pushed the spring down so you can fit the 9 volt battery in the square 9 volt batteries they are and because 3 1.5 volts what's that 1, 4.5 I believe yeah it is if not just post in the comments Listen to it. It's not enough power. I don't know if because mine's old. This when was this gun made? Struggle to see this. Two thousand and eleven, and I got um and I swapped this with my friend. I've had this now about five months and he said he had it five years and I don't know whether to believe that but if he said he had it when he was like he, he said he had it about five years and it's probably about six years old and the gun is old anyway and I just done my view on the strife um, one tactical rail it does come with a stock, but when I swapped it with my friend, I did. He didn't have the stock on, and the gun I swapped it for was the reflex. Um, the little pistol that you pull back and fire a single shot. Um, jam door is sliding one. You can rotate the barrel by turning, pulling the jamming door open, and switching it on with. And it doesn't wear if you just do that. The trigger pull is really hard on this gun. It's like a maverick. Because I'm just looking over there, something on the grass. Oh, it's a little robin. He's just hopping away at something to eat. I don't know what he's doing in the tree. He's doing something. Probably hopping to his home. Um. Probably now going to do an acorn review or a worm review of his dinner. Cooking with a Robin, episode one. No, not really. Um, it's two attachment points. Um, they could have easily fitted one under here. There's definitely space for a tactical rail here. Somebody might want to put a foregrip. Because when you have the stock, it will sit in your shoulder. Or like a flashlight. Flashlight would work perfect under here. Or like a dart storage. Like you get on the barrel break. That's quite good. Um, it does show green here. There. When it's, it's orange, then green. It will not, as a front iron sight, you look through here, it's quite accurate. Um, that's all I have to say. I wouldn't recommend buying this, it doesn't go very far. It's basically like a barricade. The barricade's only yellow, and it comes in sonic, what is it, sonic green? It's like green, I don't know what it's called. It's like a see-through green, like the ice and fire version. Um, the barricade takes three AA batteries, same attachment, doesn't come with a stop though, it's just the same as this but I don't know whether this is supposed to go further. Um, very oversized handle, I have pretty big hands, uh, it, I can grip this easy but it's still too big. Only one sling attachment on here. Um, don't know what else. What's it? it. I don't know how many 
um, dance this hoax. I just count. I think it's 12 or 10. I don't know. Something like that. And this jamming door will not stay closed. What was that? Oh, the battery fell out. I'll fire this gun now. It does take a bit of pulling on the trigger because you're like pushing the dart out and rotating the bowel at the same time. So I fire it. You see when I pull the trigger, it's pushing the dart and when you get to the end, it's a clunk. These motors are messed up. I think it's because I've been running the 9 volt battery in. But this is how quick I can fire it. The trigger does get really hard on this when you try and do it fast because when it gets to here when there's a dart in it, it has to push the dart into the flywheels and you notice in these guns in the new ones these bits here push down in the dark ones, but in the new guns like the Stry for example they have all these rubber bits don't know whether it does anything or that it, um, I don't really know what to say, mm, whether it slows the dart down or as far as it doesn't get jammed all the time, I don't really know. And in my video about the Vigilon, I did say, cause it wasn't in a thrift store, it, the shop wasn't closing down, but there was a discount in it. It's, it was like fifteen pound for when for when we went on when we it said on the box fifteen pound but when we went to the self checkouts scanned it didn't really put the money in I looked at the receipt and said Mum guess how much we got it the gun for she said how much I said five pound she said I thought it was fifteen. And then we, I looked, turned around, and there was, it said a discount on it, on the doors. So that was a very cheap vigil on. Um, there was a barricade in that shop. At the time, I didn't know what one, one of them was, a barricade. I think it was like 8 99 or something like that. And in Norwich, where I went, there was this Night Finder and a Maverick. But we was just going in there to find me school stuff, not to find Nerf guns. Even though I would have liked a Maverick, because I haven't got one. And I do like the look of the orange guns. Um, so, hi guys. I mentioned how much I got the Vigil on for. Um, I didn't have to be reminded, I did remember. So, hi guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to comment in the comment section below to tell me what you want me to do in future videos, because I will do them if I can. I can't go and do like some pro nerf war, because I haven't really got the space. Well, I've got the space, but... I haven't got many darts to use and there's just no people who do it with me. So bye guys, I'll see you guys next time.